Hello, and welcome to SuperStockScreener.com. Today, in this short video, I want to show you how you can save the screens you build on the site and how you can easily reuse them the next time you visit the site. To build my screen, I'll first log in to my account to have access to the advanced features of the screener. Now that I'm logged in, I'll click on the Stock Screeners tab to have access to the screener. As an example today, we will build a screen that looks for cheap stocks that are currently rated as strong buys and that were also rated strong buys the month before. We will look for stocks that are 100 millions and more in capitalization. We don't care about dividend yield, so we remove that one. And we look for our cheap stocks in terms of price to earnings and price to sales. Price to sales is available here in the list, so we click on it and it appears. So, to have a list of cheap stocks, we'll check for stocks that have a price to earnings lower than 10 and a price to sales lower than 1. So, once I have entered my criteria, I will click on Get Results to have the list of stocks that match these criteria. We can see that we have a list of 18 stocks, and that will be the screen we build today as an example. Now, when we have clicked the Get Results button to generate our list, the system has generated a new URL that corresponds to this screen. So, in order to save it and be able to reuse it the next time we visit the site, we just have to use the bookmark of our browser to save this page. So, I click on the bookmark menu of my browser, here, and I bookmark this page. In my case, I have created a folder, My Saved Screens, to easily find my screens next time I'll look for them. I'll change the name to something easier to remember. For me, it will be Cheap Stocks. There it is. So, I save it. Done. Now, if I go to another page, like Home, and then come back and want to access the screen again, I just have to go to my bookmark, and then go where I have saved it, in this folder, I click on this link, and here it is. We have generated the same page again, with the results being here, and the screen is actually run each time you access the page. So, what you have done is that you have saved all these criteria, and each time you'll access this page again, the system will generate for you the new list of stocks that correspond to this research. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this one about how to use our site, please click the thumb up button just below. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe so that you'll be updated next time we publish a video.